According to initial figures from the State Statistics Bureau, today the Croatian economy has seen a year-on-year -year GDP growth of 0.3% in the fourth quarter of 2014, following 12 consecutive quarters of GDP decline. This is the third time since 2009 that the GDP has technically emerged from recession, having done the same in the third quarter of 2010 and the second quarter in 2011. However, the Bureau notes that in real terms the GDP dropped by 0.4% in relation to 2013. Economist Mladen Vedrish said that growth, if it does occur, needs to be maintained on the long term, while the HDZ's Domagoj Milosevic said that the long-term recession was a result of the incumbent government's policy of raising taxes, which resulted in a lower living standard for Croatians. The deputy president of the Conservative Party, the HDZ, Drago Pergomet, has resigned from his position and left the party, saying that he was dissatisfied with the HDZ's leadership. But Gomez said that he was unhappy with the way in which ideological issues were being used to divide Croatian society in this time of severe economic crisis. Zagreb Mayor Milan Bandic is still unable to perform his duties after the Zagreb County Court today ruled against a motion filed by Bandic's lawyers to allow the mayor to return to work while an investigation into alleged corruption in the mayor's office continues. Bandic declined to comment the court's ruling. Court spokesman Kreshimir Devcic said that the motion was rejected because there was still the possibility of witness tampering. According to a health ministry inspection, four out of a total of 145 food items randomly selected were found to be positive for GMO. Experts say there is no reason for concern, however, because the levels of GMO found in the four food items were below what is required to be specially labeled. GMO is most prevalent in soya, corn, meat substitutes and food additives. Certain GMO food items are allowed in Croatia, however, they are strictly regulated. At the tennis tournament underway in Acapulco, Mexico, Ivo Karlovic failed to advance to the semifinals after losing to American Andrew Harrison 4-6, 7-6, 7-6. In the women's competition, Miriana Lucic Baroni was also stopped in the quarterfinals, losing to Carolina Garcia of France, 6-2, 6-1. In doubles play, Ivan Dodig and his Brazilian partner, Marcelo Melo, are through to the semifinals after disposing of the Mexican pair of Ramirez and Varela, 6-1, 6-3. Later today, Borna Cioric will play Switzerland's Roger Federer for a place in the finals of the ATP tournament underway in Dubai following the surprise 6-1, 6-3 win over world number three Andy Murray of Scotland yesterday. Predominantly overcast in the interior with some sunny patches in the west. There is a chance of some light rain in Slavonia tonight. Predominantly sunny on the northern and central Adriatic, more clouds in the south where there is a chance of some light rain. There will be a moderate northeasterly on the coast, strong in the Velebi Channel by day's end. Highs for the day will be between 5 to 10 degrees Celsius inland, 11 to 15 on the Adriatic. Predominantly overcast in the interior tomorrow with some isolated showers, primarily in the east. Variable cloud cover on Sunday. A southeasterly wind will bring with it warmer temperatures and some rain on Monday. The coast will see plenty of sun tomorrow with some cloud cover moving in on Sunday. Rain is expected on Monday. A northeasterly and northwesterly will turn to a southwesterly and southeasterly. Oh, 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 oh,